everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to share my nonfiction November TBR. I am super excited for, once again, it to be November. I have a stack of books to show you that I'm hoping to read during the month of November. I feel like last November I didn't have a good balance between audiobooks and books that I was going to read physically, and this year I really tried hard to make sure that I could balance those well so that I would get through the majority of these. I also think I was like kind of in a reading slump last November. So let's hope that this November goes a little bit better. But this is what I'm thinking of reading. The first word is time, and I picked two books for this. The first one is called A Knock at Midnight, so it has the word midnight in it. And this is a story of hope, justice, and freedom. This is by Brittany K. Barnett. I have this one out on audiobook as well, and it's a story about mass incarceration. It focuses on one particular case where um, a woman was incarcerated for a first-time drug offense. Uh, for a life sentence and it's about her and her lawyer coming together so the lawyer is the one who's writing this story and she was on a fast track to like corporate law until she got involved with the criminal justice system and saw the need there the second one for time that I picked is called Katrina a history 1915 to 2015 and this is a book about New Orleans the mix between physical infrastructure failing and also racist policies and racial discrimination and how those things came together in this town when it comes to the levees failing. It traces some of the well-known hurricanes like Hurricane Betsy. Um, it's also going to talk a little bit about one of the founders, Leander Perez, who I read about in a book recently called Deep Delta Justice. So I read about this character very recently and he, I'm sure he's going to play a major role in this. I believe this is a little bit more of an academic text. It's written by a professor. The majority of this is actually references and notes. Like the last, it's a, it's like 200 pages of actual text and then the rest of it is notes. So that makes me happy. And then the second word that was chosen was movement. For this, I also have two books. Both of them I have out on audiobooks, so I can do both the physical copy and the audiobook. The first one is Down Along with the That Devil's Bones, and this is a look at Confederate monuments. So that's why I chose it for movement. There's a big movement to, you know, bring all of these monuments down. It focuses specifically on Nathan Bedford Forrest, who was one of the most horrible Confederate generals during the Civil War and basically how these people are trying to put up a monument for him and kind of the backlash of that. So it's kind of reporting, it's also a little bit memoir, and it's also history. Um, the author is a reporter for NPR and he did the podcast White Lies. He is a transplant too, so he grew up in the Northeast and then has been living in the South for a long time now. I also have for movement, Stand Off. Race, Policing, and the Deadly Assault That Gripped a Nation by Jamie Thompson. I have this one out on audiobook as well, and this focuses on the night in July of 2016 when a gunman killed, uh, I believe, five police officers in Texas. This gunman killed these police officers kind of in, ret in retribution of the deaths of Philando Castile and Alton Sterling as well. So the author goes through that day hour by hour and kind of what happens after the fact. I've read quite a lot of books about policing this year and here's another one to add to that pile. After that, the third word is discovery and I also have two books for this one. I have You Ought to Do a Story About Me, Addiction and Unlikely Friendship and the Endless Quest for Redemption. So this is about a journalist who is following a a used to be NFL player who went to three Super Bowls um, and then kind of lost it all, uh, dealt with some grief and ended up addicted to drugs. And so it's him following him through time to see if there is a redemption for this man to get himself clean um, to, and to go to rehab and to get better. I'm hoping that this is a very honest depiction of this struggle. There are some nonfiction accounts that kind of try to make it more uplifting and optimistic and you know, sweet, and I hope that it kind of doesn't go that route and that it is more honest about the reality of the situation. And the second book that I have for Discovery is one that I don't have available to me um, on audio, and that is Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. So I'm going to have to read it. This is by Lori Gottlieb. I've heard really amazing things about this book. It's about a therapist who needs to start 
going to see her own therapist, how she's feeling and why she needs to go into therapy. And I believe she talks about some of her own clients that she has helped in therapy. So I'm interested to see what I think about this book. Okay, and then I have three books for Buzz and one of them might not be actually nonfiction. We'll see. Um, but I'll talk about that one first and that is Flamer by Mike Curato. I've been super excited about this graphic novel. I actually wanted a Goodreads giveaway and then it never arrived. Arrived, so that's great. I won that in like the summertime. But anyway, the library copy is now here. I believe this takes inspiration from real life, his real life, and fictionalizes like the main character, um, though it does take inspiration, so kind of counts. Um, we'll see. It's, I believe, a coming uh, out story. I've heard really good things about this on Goodreads, so that's why I put it in my buzz category. And then the other two on the buzz category are, the first one is Disfigured by Amanda Leduc, and this book is all about fairy tales and also how fairy tales depict people with disabilities, thinking about the Grimm brothers and then also like Disney, trying to make space for people with disabilities in stories and in fairy tales. I put this in my buzz category because again I've heard about it from multiple YouTube channels that have really enjoyed it. Um, this one is not available on audiobook so I have to read it but it's really quite short. And then last but not least for my buzz category is another graphic novel. I guess this one you would say is definitely a graphic memoir. Um, and that's The Times I Knew I Was Gay by Eleanor Cruz and this book is came from actually a zine so this illustrator created a zine about all of this and then now it's been put together into an actual book about again her coming out so this is very similar to flamer i think the illustrations are so cute inside so uh you know what i think about this one as well i have quite a few other ones mostly um shorter books and graphic memoirs and graphic histories that are also possibilities but I don't really want to talk about these because my focus is going to be on the books that I just showed you. Last year I feel like I showed you a lot of books and then I didn't read half of them so I really want to actually focus on a small selection and then come through with those before I start going through another big pile. There's always nonfiction books to read, so if I read more of them, great, but I will start with the ones that I showed you today. If you're participating in Nonfiction November, let me know in the comments, and if you've created your own Nonfiction November TBR, also let me know so I can take a look. I've honestly been pretty much religiously going to YouTube search, typing in Nonfiction November, and then making the settings be so I could watch all the ones from the past week, and I do that about once a week, and that's how I'm like looking at what people are doing, just to see if if there's new channels for me to watch. If you've read any of these, also let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you thought of them and if you think that I would like them as well. And I shall see you during my videos in November and tell you what it is that I thought about these books. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.